Morning, students. Morning. You are welcome to the physics class. And uh, as we are preparing for Y Pratica 2025, the specimen is here with me live and direct. Uh, for the magnets, we have um, the three retors time. I only brought one unit, I will bring the remaining because of time. I have a G clamp. I have my G clamp. I have my spiral spring. I have two rulers, two 100 centimeter rulers like this. We need it. Uh, we need a piece of thread. We need stopwatch. We need optical pins. I think my optical pins are here. We need optical pins. We need cellotape. When we get to that session, I will explain how the uh, reposting practicals or experiment we are expecting them. Yesterday, I taught us how to how question two will look like. For those of us that we are now around, you can also watch the video. Where, where yesterday I described the possible practical that may come out on lights. And you will see it, and the requirement mentioned was a rectangular prison, play mirror, the four optical pins, thumb pins, drawing board, and drawing paper. We got kind of the practical here, and it was very nice. Please do well to watch. And today's mission is question three. You know you have to give you question, three questions. You have to answer any two of your choice. Each one carries 25 marks. So when you have two, that is 15 marks. That is your practical carries 50 solid marks. All right, we move forward. Today, we are dealing with electricity. On the electricity, the requirements are one potentiometer. You can see my potentiometer. I have my real start. I have my cell. Two cells, that is two cells of 1.5 each, that is three volts. This is 1.5, 1.5, already connected. I have my voltmeter here, but I have my voltmeter, I have my ammeter, I have my key, uh, I have my key, I have my I have my do key, I have my key, I have my one my standard resistor, one ohm. I have it, I need it, I have need, and I have my connecting wire. Now, without wasting time, I will not bring any reference here or the last question that they have asked. I will just go straight to the force. I will go for us to have this particular apparatus. What are the possible experiments they can bring out? They talk about potentiometer. On potentiometer, you know we have meter rule. Definitely we need length. They will ask us questions that will talk about length. Please let's be serious and take, let's take notice of this thing. For them to talk about potentiometer, definitely uh, they will give us lengths to measure. I uh, will need length. A question will form up with length. Uh, real start, just to balance my resistor. They measure something called standard. The reason why you are carrying out this practical is because of this resistor. Is that you want to know the ohms of this resistor, maybe through your slope. Or through a particular formula, but maybe by saying k equals to psi, I mean s raised to minus y. They, that's where they are going to. That is why whenever you are doing practical, the exam with the examiners, the, the, the tutors, the experts, we know where they are going to. We don't just do practical. Everything is under one concept. It's under a particular concept. This thing is talking about this here. What we are talking about, talk about the verification of home flow. I have my voltmeter, I have my ammeter like this, I have volts, I have current. Then if I have both, I have current. Ohm's law is already there like that because to I R. I have both, I have current. Then if I want to work with R. I want to work with the formula that says R equals to V over I. Don't be surprised when they have to draw the graph of V against I. And at the end of the day, your slow will be speaking ohms. I wrote that now without wasting time, let's create one domain that will look like the question that we have to. Where is my dosa? Alright, I think I have it there. Now, since we have known that we need Length. Let's go straight to the table of value. But whenever you are writing any practical or electricity and you are using battery or cell, the first thing you must do, you record the EMF of your cell. Now, the first thing I'm going to do right now, my EMF, I will start. My EMF is 3 volts because you can see 1.5 volts. 3 volts or 3.0 volts. Now, table of values. Table of values. On that day, you are you will be writing your practical. I, I don't expect you to use more than five minutes of this experiment. Your goal is to take reading, record. Take your reading, record. Within five minutes, you are done. You go back to your various seat. You calm down. You put everything. You arrange your table, your table of values. You think about the possible scale you can use for your graph. 
within one hour, you will have finished the whole two, the whole two, the whole question, or you want to use one hour for each question. You take your time, all your T's, you cross, all your high, you dot. Am I competing now? That's why, but practical is where they know who is that real scientist. That's where you express yourself that confidence. That's why it's 50 solid marks. You want to get decision, you must start your decision from your practical. Anybody that faced practical has faced exam. All right, now, creating the possible table values. Since I have mentioned that we need A, if you like, you can put serial number in your wood, no problem. There will be a section for L. L is centimeter. I will create one. One, two, three, four, five. You will take that, you will repeat. Let's say I'm starting with when is 20.0, when is 30.0, 40.0, 50.0, 60.0, 70.0. Because at that moment I'm connecting my potentiometer, both meter and non meter they will be reading. Maybe at 20, what will be the measurement on our meter? That is correct. What will be the measurement on both? That at the same time, there will be measurement for both. And there will be measurement for what? Correct. Which is, you can say I'm putting unit. Because if you don't put unit, you'll be deducting your math. All these things, these are the things we need to work to get math in physics practical. And make sure your table is neat. You don't paint, you don't shade. If you are a type of person that you feel like you are, you can commit blunder error. You can first go with pencil. When your everything is perfect, you cannot turn it to in. Am I complete right now? All right, we move. Now, let's now assume values. Now, as somebody that knows, listen on that day, this one woman is some body, you will not see it twice. It will be what? It will be wrapped or labeled for you not to see the value. Because we are going to present this thing to you as something strange, something unknown. This is your new parameter. All your experiments that I want to do on this practice depends on this. So we, we will make, make sure that the thing is what is covered. When you now do your experiment, you will not complain that it's your answer equivalent to one point written on it. That this at the end of the day we are expecting you to get like 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1, 1.1, 1.2. That everything will be approximately one ohms. Am I complicated now? Now, since we have known the area where the question will come at, let me create a W. Let's say here now I have, let's say I have maybe 2.0, and here maybe I have 2.0. And that is at the moment I put this on 20, my current read to a read to, this will also read to, or let me check, let, let me pick number, let me pick number something number. Since our range is from 0 to 2 volts, let's say I have 0 0.4. 0.4 again. Let's say on the second side I have 0.5 and this one reads 0.6. Maybe at this moment this one reads 0.6. This one also give me 0.6. This one give me 0.8. This one also give me 0.8. And let's say this one give me 1.2. And this one also give me maybe 1.2. Am I communicating now? Can I continue? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, my table of values are ready now. The table of values is ready with the values inside. They may decide. Now, at this junction, they can add pulling things now. If they want you to plot the graph of votes against currents, your table will stop here. They can also decide, they, they, they can decide to increase this thing by telling you to find the inverse of votes or inverse of the current. If they introduce that one, no problem. Maybe they'll say, find the inverse of V and the inverse of the current. There's no problem. Everything, we are still playing, we are still the same concepts. Your whole, you don't know of inverse. Inverse of both means one over V. Inverse of current means one over I. Am I complicating now? So I will get my values again. In that situation, they did not say, maybe you, maybe you plot the graph of, maybe plot the graph of V inverse, against I inverse. But you must make sure your unit, you put your unit there because all this thing matters. All this thing matters. I'm still going to talk about graph. But I want to make everything as so short so that everybody will be able to assimilate what I'm saying within the few minutes of, uh, that we have. Now, and at the end of the day, when you get your slope, you now say evaluate, if you now say evaluate K equals to inverse. Am I going to right now? That's what the story is all about. I guess about that. If you, you have understood what I just said now, write down this table, fill this table, and plot this graph. Plot the graph of V inverse 
against I inverse. Now, how will the graph look like? You know your graph, you see remember your graph? Your title will be the first thing. Our title. What the title of your graph is? This is what we are This will be B inverse, B inverse, A against all versus, A against all versus I inverse, and B inverse. Why your scale? It depends. If you are picking two centimeters on your graph, you say on. That's, okay, I will say on V inverse, V inverse axis. Two, maybe two centimeter to represent all this in the Omagi. You need to express yourself to represent to represent 0.2 volt inverse. It depends on the value, whatever the value you may get. I guess my life now. Maybe when I get my inverse, okay, inverse of one point four maybe will give me a strong number. Maybe to represent one volt. Or one volt raised to minus one. On I this. I can maybe I'm still using the same unit. I'll say two centimeter to represent to represent to represent the same the same style. Give me to represent one ampere inverse. My title, my scale, and from there you go to your graph. You plot your graph, necessary. You plot your graph, your origin. You have you have it. Maybe I have my value. I'll call this place B inverse B inverse, and here we have I inverse A inverse. You plot your graph. If it needs intercept, you bring out the intercept on the uh, vertical axis, and from there you are good. After that, you write your precautions. To write precautions is very simple. What you write, you are going to pass me. Since I'll be using battery, there must be precaution about battery. I ensured I avoided what? I, I ensured I disconnected the battery when it's not when it was when it was not used. Why? To avoid the battery to run down. That's the precaution. Or I, I disconnected the wire from the battery. It's part of discussion. I mean, of the precaution rather. I'm using both with that ammeter. Definitely, you know that there must be issue of parallel zero. I avoid parallel zero when taking measurement on both meter, on both meter and ammeter. Am I going to get you right now? All those things you need to put them in action. And that one ends up by the duty. If you have a story I just said now, I want you to fill this table and you plot the graph and you submit to me. Thank you.